hurt our little bit. Hold up. Juan Pablo Garcia out of the race, guys. There are five cars locked in a pretty good battle for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And the number nine machine, Kristen Airy, Anders Grohn, hits the wall, and we've got a bad crash in front of you in turn two. It's a combination of the Kronos. Oh, oh that's that's McNish. That's Alan McNish. That's a massive chunk oh. there. Traffic. Oh boy, that oh, was that, no. He went for a hole there, boys. That was not there. Oh. Look at the spectators. Boy, the camera oh. guys. Right side of the championship in the West. Wake up and ride. Turn one. Who can make the jump? Gets a good initial fight. Alex Davidson makes a stormer. Slots to the inside. That's massive. Oh, oh the slot on the grid. He was stalled on the grid. Replay to try and unravel what's going on. Look back at the pack. Carl stopped. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. And, and Dave Reynolds pulled out of the way. Owen completely unsighted. He had no chance. He had nowhere to go, did he? And that's just punched straight into the fuel cell. It split the cell. The fuel's been ignited, but there's a whole lot of electrical apparatus in the back of the cars. There's fuel pumps in there, there's power and batteries and things in there. And I, and I don't think I've ever seen it. Now let's see if what, we can work how out. did this... Oh, just tire. got it wrong. Tire's gone down, I think. The car suddenly looked as though it went low on a corner and that flips wow. over. Wow! Lands on all fours. There's another impact into the barrier. That is a monster. Well, you saw better than me. And if... French car. Oh, you see him pump it right there. Now they just... Shot the front end, not do anything. They did one pattern just for that. This stint, he withstood the blowtorch and the question mark about the slimy track conditions. No, Stephen Johnson, fuel on the road. This is a big, big incident. Turn two. Quite a big accident. Turn two. Turn David two. Bernard's actually in the car. It's not Stephen Johnson. So safety. Their slowest mid corner speed. There it is in real time. It's 130 k's. So this would have been just after a stop. The half a car length on him. Now here comes Carl back on the low side. Oh, oh Carl he wins. Come on, he's sideways. Oh, oh now it gets to Joey. Joey's into the bar and the Carl's upside down. On the side is Clint. Yellow is out. Yellow is out. Yellow is out. Wallace gets into it. The 14 of Bliss gets into it. Red flag immediately. Stop on the back. They want you to stop on the back. They are stopping every... Moves yeah, to, the moves to the inside. Now to the outside. Whoa! Oh, yeah. So Tony Kanan literally flew over the top of Elio's car as Elio was braking Davey to go into right turn number one. Right here. Oh, oh my God! I'll tell you what, Tony's throttle stuck or something. Well, that's all. That's just the last lap of a race. You can see Mike Wallace kind of got separated. He tried to block and pick up a little bit of air. He and Danica got together, and then that just created a big mess. Hold on. Outside here, outside. Bit of fog. The reason we're behind the safety car is a massive incident with Mike Rockenfeller hitting the Armcore barrier at one of the fastest parts of the course. Stuart Hall is alongside myself, John Heindorf, here in the booth, and it was one of those awful moments, Stuart, when a whole race... ...the Ferrari just turns in and just clips him, sends him over to the left-hand side into the wall, which, and as you see there, is an absolutely horrendous looking... He has a small advantage because everybody else has opened the air up in front of him, and he... Oh, here we go, trouble contact and a huge crash. Oh. Up in turn number two. Oh, multiple cars involved. Looks like Dan Weldon may be involved in it. Wide. Watch Sebastian Zavadra, right? Yes. Little contact right there. Now it, he's trying to go from the low side to the high, uh, from the high side down low to get going for the turn. Oh. And what ends up happening is that he got stuck back up there, turned around, tried to take another move going down, guys, and the backhand started to come around, and that started the chain reaction. He was uncomfortable being on the top lane, and he tried, like you said, there, there's there's the car. 
Danke. Setzen sich gleich mal in Führung. Luca Ludwig biegt als erster ein und er wird ein Mercedes SLS aber mal richtig getroffen. Und er geht mal gleich über das Dach und bleibt kopfüber. Kommt dann, zieht ganz nach außen mit den grünen Markierungen. Lance David Arnold trifft da hinten. Dann entsprechend das Auto von Black Falcon. Robert Renauer sitzt da am Steuer, der sich das Cockpit mit Kenneth Hyatt teilen wollte. Aber das sieht nach...